This is what you get when you boot off the Norton Ghost CD. We're going to click on Analyze first, then we're going to Explore My Computer, and then we're going to click Open right away, and we're going to drill down to the Tools folder on the CD that we've just booted from. When you're in the Tools folder, you want to click All Files for File Types, and then right click on Ghost32 to run as administrator. When you're in the program, click on Local. I usually use uh, a partition backup and I always go to the image. Here's the most important part about this entire process because you can delete important data if you're not choosing the right disk. So the most important part about this process is labeling your disks so you know which one you want to back up and you know which one is going to be the destination. So there's two types of disks. There's a source disk, the disk you're backing up, and there's a destination disk, the disk that is actually receiving data. As you can see here, I don't have enough space, so I'm compressing it, and I'm proceeding. This usually takes about 30 minutes to two hours, depending on how much data you have. And this is considered like an unauthorized way to use Norton Ghost. Um, this isn't on any of the tutorials or any how-tos or even in support section of Symantec's website. But this is the best way that I, I found to use it because I can send, I can take an image from a computer and send it to like a network drive, removable flash drive, and I don't have to install any software to do that. The software just runs off the CD and I don't have to install anything on my hard drive to actually back up the hard drive.